All right, check one, two.
all day, every day. My test. My check. One, two. I said, want to go number one and number two. I'm untangling my headset for the music and went to a speaker. Okay, there we go. Should be fixed in a second. Core was tangled up. Put up a backrest on my chair because my back hurts. Dr. D. The rank. What's up, man? One plus saves. Kilty. Go oh boy. Prof incompetence. Crazy. Darth Jameson. JDA. Mateo. One plus saves, you already missed me. home from the convention life. Sormon, the white OG. Rank 
Just picked up the Army Painter Fanatic set. So I was trying a different browser window. And it seems like my Universal Music for Creators is glitching. Like it won't stream continuously. It's like almost like I have to download the songs. I think it forces me to press play manually. Like it just breaks. And I pay these guys so I can stream on Facebook. Rip wallet, the ring. Crazy, you like how everyone gets back from Adepticon and now my convention starts today? What's your convention? Local anime Hawaii Hawaii anime convention. Hell yeah. What Matt Varnish did tell me about? The airbrush varnishes from Army Painter are really good. The satin and the matte. The airbrush ready ones. dog Kenny Boucher here next level painting hitting you up on that literal best of all days coming to you live from that beat slab in Citrus County we're doing it again mm. back from Adepticon my man Corvid die What's that sound? See? Did you guys hear that static while Corvid I was donating? That is the indication that this shit is broken. No, it's still going? Is it like random? Bro, I do not know what's going on with this music player. So happy that I pay them. Make a strong man love a chat from a man. Corvid die, still alive, barely. Here's money. You stuck in Orlando? Lenny's brushes. Thank you for the resub. Seven months. And Corvid died 38 months. 23 bonus yo dogs. It is Beast Mode Friday. For Corvid die.
Uh, I don't know if I saw Love Minis in here or not. Shout out to both these legends. You heard that static too, Sormon? That's gangster, right? Like an out of control. I don't know what the fuck. I mean, I'm allowed to download the songs 50 a day. So, like, I think I just need to download them and run, the, run it off my desktop. Templar, what's up? I got my package today, thanks. Oh, you're welcome, brother. Corvidai, you run a beer north of Atlanta. Schmeared off ice. <laughs> there it goes again, you hear it? So did it break this time? Yeah. Bro, what is wrong with this thing? It just started doing this when we got back from Adepticon. This is dumb. Yeah, I got COVID. Yeah, you right. I just clicked a different playlist that they have randomly on there. I'm even just trying their playlists, you know? Oh. You guys ready for Easter? Corbett Eye says, ultra light beer. I don't know. I don't drink beer. I only drink whiskey and vodka. <laughs> so, Reprey says, today is my day off for Easter. Nice. You guys ready? I heard the new thing is to ask your significant other to be your Easter egg this year. Would you guys collectively like to be my Easter egg? So, we're back from Adepticon. We did the Long War recap last night. That was hype. Uh, thought of class today, class Tuesday when I got back. And now we're almost to the month ender, which is tomorrow. Easter Sunday is my dad's birthday, coincidentally. So we're going to have a birthday party. So tight. Yeah, <laughs> Dr. D's like, smash that shit. Yeah, dude. Red Coast says, I've been asked to do a lot of things, but to be someone's egg is too kinky for me. Right, it sounds weird, right? Darth Jameson says, speaking of classes, what video do I have to watch before the next class? I don't know what class you're on. In your syllabus, there's spotlight videos. Darth Jameson, ah, you're probably done. Go to your 201 dot syllabus. If there's a video, watch it. If not, you're fine. There's not always videos. You can fill out your pre-course assessment form if you want. One plus six says, I can offer you an egg in this trying time. Can I offer you an egg? My mom just boiled like a whole shitload of eggs today. And then it wasn't until this exact moment that I realized they're Easter eggs. So my mom is cooking up some Easter eggs. Legit.
The rank says I'm stoked for the next lesson. Hell yeah, dude. I was about to smash some eggs. Kramer says, what up? How you doing on the literal best day of the week? The literal best day of the week. I'm doing good, bro. Uh, I went and washed my truck. Cleaned the inside out. Vacuumed that shit up. Uh, did a little light fabric maintenance. I need to figure out how to shampoo the seats better. I mean, because I did get the upholstery redone. I think I told you guys that. So, I dropped coin on that because the ceiling was falling. And I have a big tear, a big tear in the driver's seat because the truck is literally 20 years old. And then I was in there trying to clean it up. Looks good. And then uh, I got to take it to Ocala on the 15th of April to be painted. Shout out to Recoil for helping me out there. But that's like, once that is done, then I have secured my transportation in my new life. Because I can't buy a car. I don't, I don't got car money. Have you seen how expensive cars are? The ranks I've seen Golden Demon shit fired me up. They won't be able to process the secret tech. That's right, man. Dark Jameson. I'll put my name on the Google Doc when I get back from dinner and and a walk with the lady. That's nice, dude. Dr. D, uh, now that all the kids, nephews, and nieces are all grown up, I miss doing $5 Easter egg hunt for them. Doc Jameson says it's a classic now. It's close, right? 25, isn't it? Dry ice cleans the carpets? What about like the fabric, like the seats? I don't have car- no, it's a fucking Ford Ranger. There's no carpet in a Ford Ranger. There's a bunch of plastic, vinyl, and rubber. And then two seats. And those seats are like fabric. It's like canvas, nylon looking fabric. Love minis in the chat. Kramer says, what color? I'm going to do a, it's dark, dark, dark blue right now. Uh, minus the hood and roof, which are like spotty white clear coat metal. A little touch of orange and brown in places. Uh, so I said, can we go like a light blue, like a light metallic blue? And they're like, yeah. So I'm I, I'll pick the color out when I get there. I'd like it to be a little cyan y. Kind of like the Circle K. Circle K blue would be kind of tight, but like metallic. Like. So I lost music again. Tight. Dot Jamison says, fuck car payments. Y yeah, man. Mr. Funk Dizzle says, I'm without a car at the moment as well. Feel that. The rank says, if you ever move the beats out of the cannon, I can hook you up with a paint job. Dr. D, used from Enterprise, and they're certified and they don't mark them up. I mean, my truck is good. Like, that's why I'm going to invest. That's why I'm, that's why I'm investing in it right now. Because, uh... The it's a 2004 Ford Ranger with 99,000 miles on it. It's the old Vulcan pushrod engine that's rated for 300,000 miles. It's had no mechanical issues. I've owned it for eight years. Uh, air conditioner still works. Everything's fine. It's just a you know paint job is like clear coat's gone now, and the, and the interior fabric and the ceiling just was drooping and falling apart, and. I got to protect it from rust and so I can keep the car for 10 more years because like, it will go 10 more years and it's great. So it's like I have to drop some coin up front for that, you know.
So it's like buying a car, buy, buying a car for 10 years. Dr. D, there's a special machine for the dry cleaners. Throw some WeatherTech floor covers on it. Problem solved. Floor covers? No, no. I'm talking about, like, the seats, guys. Like, I need to... Like, I'm cleaning the seats. Like, I didn't get them totally reupholstered. That's way too much fucking money. Guys, how much money upholstery, reupholstery is? Holy fuck. I was like, can we just put new check seats in it? He's like, that's more money. And I was like, oh, my God. New, new, new seats are gangster. So... I just had him fix the panel that was torn. The seats are basically fine outside of that one tear, and then the ceiling. And but there's like, you know, twenty years of dirt on the seats. Then like, and I was I bought some like spray shampoo thing, and it, it got a lot of dirt off. But the, you can see now that even more dirt can come off. So I'm like, man, there's got to be a better solution to this. I have no experience. I normally just put seat covers on them. Dollar General carpet cleaning foam for my seats works awesome. Like, so a Dollar General carpet cleaning foam. I feel like that's what I was using. How do you apply it? How do you remove it? The rank, you're in a body shop? So drive up to Canada, get my car painted, drive back. How much? That's, uh, the quarter to be $3,600 for new paint. Prep and paint. Flare coat. I'll drive to your house. If you give me the right price. <laughs> Yo, let me get some love for Trey Jen. Happy subscriber up in here. What's up, dog? Dr. D, you had a Tundra, 215K. Gotta go a million, dog. The Living Tribunal, do I think GW released Empress Children? Yes. Oh, I might be able to find seats in the junkyard, yo. Dr. D is genius. <laughs> Swamp boat seats, Templar. Just green stuff to floor and airbrush it. One plus saves, Dark Jameson. I used a carpet cleaning vacuum with the upholstery too. Where'd you get that? Did you like rent that from Home Depot or something? Send me a link to what you got, because I need that. Wait, you can rent that at the Dollar General? There's like 40 Dollar Generals in my fucking neighborhood. I can rent that whole operation of Dollar General? Man, I'm trying not to go in there. Shit looks shady as fuck. Is your Dollar General shady as fuck? The Dollar General is like adjacent to my gym that I signed up at. You're touching. Hey, are you Dirty Mike and the boys? Cops, rub your dicks on the car as you run away. We are gonna have sex in your car. So I'm on the white OG. Great to see you at Adepticon. Pretty busy with the family this weekend, but wanted to hop in the stream and get you back on your feet after that show. Thanks, man. It was a fucking. It's hard but fun, dude. The 69 bonus yo dogs from my man so on the white OG. It is a Florida Man Friday. You guys know the rules. Fuck man, we don't have any music playing. God, what the hell, man? I'm licensing you guys. Why is your player just straight hot hot garbage? Sormon, what do I do? 
Well, it gave me an Air 500 screen when I went to their website, and then it fixed itself. So they're having a problem with their website, is what it looks like. It's upsetting. It's a browser player, we are praying. I'm just using it on browser because I didn't want to download it all. That's the problem. I need to download it. I, just, I know the solution. It's just lazy. So. Lazy. Florida Man Friday. Special prize pool for my homies for a Florida man raffle at the end of the month, which is tomorrow. So this is the last chance to get in there. Special Circle K themed content. Dark Jameson, drive to Buffalo, get car clean. Got it. One plus six is I just got impaled with my own dick getting in the car because my wife was driving it while I was gone. <laughs> Fully erect since the moment the show went live, of course. Understandable. Understandable. Exclamation point FMF. Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna finish out this. Uh, Lord of Skulls, exclamation point bonus. It is a Beast Mode Friday. We're back in the game. Exclamation point bonus. And I am running the jersey promo today. Exclamation point jersey, custom jersey. You guys like my title today? You guys know the promos. Thank you guys. Exclamation point patrons, etc., etc. You guys know the deal. Let's jump into it. All right, so I did a little work on this during the webinar. It's locked into the obesity cradle. So, Armand, are you eating fish right now? So we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's move this. Let's show you what I was working on. Working on this axe. Shrimply irresistible Eileenosaurus. Bose Magic tuning in. What's up, brother? Grilled salmon. Gotta keep the weight off, Sormon. OG. Grilled salmon. Yuck. Salmon the white. So on the webinar, I set this up 
So you have to go back on the Patreon to see that. Dark Jameson, 3X, 69 bonus, Yoda. It's just my dude right there. It's for the carpet cleaning rental from the Dollar General, baby. Let's go. Clean that fucking truck. Living Tribunal, what do I do with all the models I paint? Some of them are bespoke uh, sponsored content. Some of them are for my personal collection. But in general, I do auction them off. Yes. Fifty years old yesterday, most magic. Oh my god, you're not fifty though. Happy birthday, most magic. Five hundred bonus, yo dogs. So, reappraises. It looks interesting. So, what you're seeing here is a, a classic tri blend, bright, dark, bright, bright, dark, bright. A lot of it was airbrushed and then uh, just streaked in. And then I carved this, these black in, so we can kind of see what we're working with here. And then I want to really just workshop this because I, wa I want those like kind of synthwave reflections in it. That's where you see the blue and the magenta kind of infecting it. Disco, what's up, brother? 30 months back to back. Faye Story, what's up, man? Thanks for tuning in. Recoil in the house. Recoil, I got that rack. It's dope. Shut up. So let's get the palace sorted and let's see if we can get this guy going. I really like to make this axe look interesting and good. Because right now, Reapray says it looks interesting. He didn't say it looks tight. See the problem? Yeah, bro, it's sick. It's like right here. I just started loading some paint into it. Okay, so... We need this to look sick. So, there's a lot of things we still need to do on it. And I think one of them is simple. What I'm going to do is get the... Gold Titanium White. And this is something I think Noosh is pretty good for. Let's get Noosh. Let's go. We're just chilling, man. Hopefully the music player stays active. Recoil's mom. Good morning, Kenny. Your mom okay? You okay? Yeah, we're doing what we can. I was out there jamming out. I think she ate a gummy. Okay, so let's let's see if we can get cute. So let's take some water. Noosh. So we're going to really noosh up this white, okay? So this is slowing the dry time down like massive. And we're going to lower the opacity a little bit too with some moisture. So remember, this is like a streaking grime solution, but really what it is is just longer work time. I don't suggest using it for like a wet blend aid, but when you're doing like streaks with the heart pool, it works really good. I'll show you. So we're, we're substantially lowering the opacity of this white with the noosh. And so what I want is I want some, this is where it gets tricky because I need, I want to make some parallel lines.
and the fact that the noosh is in it lets me uh, kind of work the line shape safely. And see, that's super low opacity. See that? Sunshine Grenadier in the chat, my guy. So let's see if we can do it here too. And it's very low opacity. You see that? It gives me and it gives me a lot of flexibility. I fucked up there a little bit. So I'm gonna grab a little water. And I can kind of reshape that streak. And this this gives me a lot of safety. Mr. Funk Dizzle says, haven't seen it used like that before. Yeah, because everyone sucks, dude. I'm the, I'm, the main, I'm the main dude. Everyone's shit is weak. I don't know what to say. This shit, reactive, this shit lets you reactivate paint. So how do we use that to technically apply to precision? It lets us get multiple undo buttons when we're doing something risky. Right? It's a fail rate mitigator. Anyone who takes my lessons knows I use that term a lot. Fail rate mitigator mitigation when we're painting miniatures that's the name of the game baby say and we're just redoing using the heart pool Noosh is like Flown Prover? Uh, kind of. But so, for Flown Prover will actually fuck up paint. It'll reactivate paint. This is like acrylic medium, acrylic medium retarder, and some other proprietary blended chemicals that lets you do a subtractive me method to it, which is similar to what spirits and oil do. So the whole intent is that it can emulate like an, uh, an oil spirit combo. And so that one is a little off. I'll use a little water to subtract and blur. And that's just something that you normally can't do with acrylic paint. It does react. I mean, it's preserving the activation time while plus saves. That's its, that's its focus. And whereas a retarder, once it starts to dry, that's it. Uh, this lets you still kind of introduce moisture and subtract. And so now I'm going to get more. So that's super low opacity white. Okay. Now that I've created some of these lines, I'm going to upgrade the opacity. And just pu pull down. I'm going to get a little noosh in water right there. Kind of streak that down. Like, like almost like streaking grime. You see? Because the noosh. And so if you use it. Just like the people who've been using it have been doing like spray terrain with this nonsense, wipe it away. That's tight. I don't I don't paint terrain though. Get a little water, get a little noosh. Streaking grime style, you see that? So he lets you kind of reshape the comet trail and keep it parallel.
Sunshine Grenadier, what are you into right now, man? Bring some low opacity right there. Right there. Just increase the opacity slightly. Look at that. Right there, I'm bringing more opacity to bear. So it's fine. Playlist broke. A little bit right here. Okay, let's go. Let's raw dog. Let's do a tracer. Hold your breath, swing it from right to left, high opacity, low moisture. Always be rotating, guys. We're just taking it from the palette to the model. Because of how big this model is, I'm using a much bigger brush. Always be rotating. Now, don't forget to get right here, top shelf. those little breaks in the surface maybe a little stipple right here Those little bolts. Oh, 
run a tracer right there Alpaci, low moisture, always be rotating. Hold your breath, swing it from right to left. Rotate back. Using the tip right now. Rotate back here. Stipple these nuts. Rotate right here. Let's get this. Fucking pyramids. You gotta do every goddamn side of a, of a pyramid. Rotate back this way. Rotate. Reload, don't fight it. Rinse. Pick up more white, just a tip. We're going to do... See if we can do a, a tiny tracer right here. Do that, do that ledge. Heart pull. Put them nuts. Look at that. Let's get the tops of these joints. Rotate. Let's see if we can get this little guy. Right there. We're going to go hard with the tip. What we want now is... Did I get this yet? Want to get this ledge right here? Let's 
So we're tip tracing. That's where we got to be cognizant of tip penetration. Shogun, what's up, brother? Let's stipple a couple nuts. get this little guy right here and I did a little dry brushing on this first it's, it, it's all in the webinar I'll take noosh if I get that really extremely low opacity white again We're going to do a vertical. Ton of noosh, some white. So let it chill. Now inside this vent, I'll see about making it glow. <laughs> Meaning, we need to take this white, shove it in there. opaquely use an art pull with our tip So rotate this way because you're going to get different coverage from each direction. Let's also get these rails. Using the tracer technique. I 
Okay, so then we can drop the color, the chosen color glowy. So a lot of times on the edge lords we use green for that. Uh, sometimes we use the orange fire spectrum. Probably this will probably be an orange fire spectrum. So we don't we don't get to have music today. So dumb. So while it's chilling, let's, and I've got the white out. Let's just go ahead and get some noosh and white together. Let's see if we can make these skulls look a little bit more impressive. Right now, they're just great. So I'm just going to do a layering effect where I'm going to subtract from the skull with semi-opaque white. I'm not actually repainting the skull or anything. See, I'm leaving some gray behind. Using stipples and heart pulls. Cause I don't want to just like paint them, like I don't want to paint them like uh, ivory and wash them. I want it to be a little. I want it to be like that clean, neutral white. Subtractive layering, you see? Time for some deniable ops to that music player. Where you pray? Don't know what that means. Some stipples and heart pulls. See, we're just we're doing like the forehead, a little bit of the eyebrow and cheekbones and nose, but we're not painting. We're not doing full coverage. And there is some noosh in this, so it's not totally opaque. Stipple, stipple, stipple. Everything paid that's on me. Been going hard as concrete. Pay for the fight, the whole fleet. Pay for the telly, the whole sweet. They want to let out the beast. Top, top competition on their knees. Pray and pray and get the priest. If they ain't no good breeze. Yeah, y'all do not even compete. If I'm playing this for keeps. Step close for the heat. Way too hot like this. The bad little thing on hold. Gotta get this bag. I can't keep up. It's coming in way too fast. See how clean these skulls look compared to some washed bleach bone or whatever. Now look where you at, then look at where I'm at, I'm laughing. Look at your wife now, look at my chick, no caption. 
I'm gonna go back down here. Reinforce some highlights. That's just right over like light gray. There is no elaboration on deniable operations. So you're going to go do some shady shit to these guys? Damn it. So annoying. How many people are watching on Facebook? Literally none. Fuck it. I might have to just cancel my subscription with these guys. Let me go deactivate Facebook. Facebook off. Facebook off. Fuck okay. it. Going back old school. Sormont says, how do you keep the paint coming off your brush so smoothly? Whenever I do a small brush, paint dries on the tip. Uh, moving faster than you. Uh, I'm using a little new shrine at this exact moment. And I'm periodically rinsing my brush in this little puddle of water. Right there. Grab a little yellow, a little water, a little noosh. new color to my new paint rack recoil straight up orange let's take that orange and mix it in with the yellow the water
what I'm going to try to do is kind of drop it in there like an eyeliner. Say Semi opaque kind of wet. Stipple it in these edges. There you go. Let that relax. Recoil, it is paying for itself. Get some magenta. What I want to do is run a tracer on this. Just raw dog that magenta. High opacity, low moisture. Always be rotating. Hold your breath, swing it from right to left. Don't fight it, reload. Light brush pressure at all times. Rotate, looking for that slant. Always be rotating. Let's invert. bottoms always be rotating See, I'm not. See, I'm not going full rotation. I'm leaving the the top of those arrows unpainted because it's not in my arc right now. So I'm doing it all from one side first.
that. Saruman, that makes sense. Always be rotating and see him. I see the speed. If you're gonna battle it, battle it on the pallet. Don't get frustrated by it. Just kind of work. Just kind of work your speed. Hey, Gunko. You too for life. What's up? Let's take. A little white mixed in to the magenta. Shipped out a shitload of packages this week. You guys should be getting them any day. Yo, Dub Sherman. A.K.A. The Wisher Man. How you doing? What we're not, what we're doing right now, Dub Sherman, 33-30. That's a 5x multiplier. Uh, that is 115 bonus yo dogs. Let me get some hype in chat right there. I think sometimes it's not Dub Sherman on the line. See what it is. Gotta be careful with this. Nicholas, 10 month resub legend. Thank you so much. Sunshine Grenadier, tomorrow is the month under. So, right now we're just kissing things with white. Can I get some hype and chat for Deb Sherman? I appreciate the support. If you got a package for me in the mail, let me know. The mail lady got mad at me out here. All right, so I put an order in for a pickup because it was like 14 packages. She comes to the door and she's like, next time put them in the mailbox. I was like, yeah, it's like literally 14 packages. You want me to put that in the mailbox? impossible right so then the next day i shoved like five in the mailbox and because it was the tree was kind of hanging down and it was kind of raining she didn't pick them up i was like okay back online schedule pick up all of them i was like you work for me i try i try to work with you on this because if it goes there a little computer screen you got to do it Just notice it's been taking longer to get packages going because they have to go to Jacksonville first. So I just want to make sure people are getting the shit. So you see, Dub Sherman, how we're just jumping around, kissing things, making things brighter. Now let's go. Let's get a pile that's almost basically just pure white.
Look at that rinse. Brush is getting gummed up. That's the other thing, Sormon. Occasionally just reset the brush. Always be tracing. Always be rotating. Now let's go back a little bit more into the magenta. And I'd like to maybe put a little right here. Using our tracing technique with the tip. It's a little bit on the inside track. Dear Fast says that's looking sick. Thanks, man. Tolus UK, tune in and what's up? I didn't see anything from Dub Sherman. You still, you still chilling? Said a little of that magenta right here. Passy a little moisture. Rotate. Or white. E2Z. This man, that looks good. Thanks. Let's get... Let's get a little, uh, the bright neutral gray. use this to stipple on these nuts Let's go back to orange. This time it's mostly orange, if not all orange. I want to reinforce that eyeliner again. Now that it's dried for a minute. Just 
So I'm just shoving low opacity, slightly wet orange into the gunnel, the gutter. I'm rubbing some of this paint off, so I'll need a varnish. So there's this side. That's where we. This is what it looked like. And then now it looks like that. The teeth, I think we can get away with just the bright neutral gray. Using a tracer. Like this is disrespectful and a little aggressive. Meaning I can fuck up pretty easily. This track. Just a little bit of art pulling and tracing. You keep it. I'm just going. It's like classy. It's a little understated, right? Just black teeth with the sh with the shine on them. See if we can get this ledge right here. We're having to do a heart pull. This is our, uh, the only reason I was doing the other one recoil was for the Facebook license. But since they're failing me, I'm going to use a ton of noosh, ton of noosh. So 
some of that gray. Just kind of drop a little streak right there. Yeah, this one is better. New recoil, 100%. This is, my, this is Monster Cat, dude. They're fucking actually a legit studio. This shit's tight. Producers. So that's pretty fucking good. The gentleman, what's up, man? E2Z says, when you have a minute, can you show me what the Cassia paint on a wet palette should be like? It's just raw dog, bro. This is just a puddle of paint. Puddle of paint, puddle of paint, puddle of paint, puddle of paint. It's really about the consistency of your wet palette. This, the top of your wet palette should be dry. It just should feel cool and moist. See how the water is just sitting on it and not going into it? It's like Scotch Guard. So like, that's what, you don't want water coming over the top. Just should be like a nice, cool, damp, humid top surface. The water should pull up on it. And you just kind of, you just grab what you need. A lot of times I'm just grabbing raw dog paint. So sometimes my technique is high opacity, low moisture. Like all this, all this edge highlighting. Sometimes my technique is semi-opaque, some moisture. Like when I'm running the, when I put the orange in there. Sometimes my technique is low the, lower the opacity and take some of the moisture off. And that's when I'm doing like a glaze. So it's really like the technique will define the moisture component. Uh, the wet palette just keeps the paint workable longer. Like during your session. So I'm feeling that. Got it. I'm not feeling doing the back. <laughs> I hate when I do something really cool and then I have to mirror it. That's the that's annoying. So I'm like all tuckered out. But what I might do is throw a little bit of varnish on this guy before I keep rubbing all the paint off. At, you know, at the end of today, not now. I'll finish the other side of this thing. Either after the whip session or tomorrow. It's already irritated me beyond belief that I have to do too. So speaking of which, let's get set up for a little whip session. If you're just tuning in, exclamation point whip, join our Discord server, show me what you're working on. This is our corn lord of skulls for our edge lords color scheme for our chaos project. So still gotta finish this head. Gotta finish this, these arms. So I blocked in the trim between shows after we airbrushed it. This is the ax arm right here.
Did I get a second magnet in there by accident? I kind of feel like I did. I thought I countersunk that further. Because I feel like this is protruding more than it what than it once was. Maybe not. I think it's fine though, because It's gonna have that wrist guard on it. But I really do feel like it's it's out further. Scraping this. Oh uh, yeah, see, like there's some glue right here. That's what it is. Some glue came over the edge. Right there. Uh, that's a better fit for sure. But also, the risk, the actual gauntlet situation. Covers that little, that little latch. So that when that's glued on, it can't tilt back anymore. With the magnet. So I don't actually plan on keeping the arms magnetized. Just a just a just a weapon for transport. The arms will be they they have magnets, but they will also be glued in their pose. And so the reason for that is like if you have a, uh, a disaster, like a break on the tabletop, then you still have your mag your arms on, right? I might leave this one magnetized just because this one doesn't have a problem. This one has to support the weight with that leverage, the extra leverage from this axe makes it a kind of problematic but I've got solutions recoil says wet palette is a bit of a misnomer makes people think it should be covered in water yep instead of being a way of keeping your paints usable for longer yeah it's like more like a candle wick than anything So I think what we'll do is let me let me move this arm right here. So I think when we come back from the web session, I think I'd like to play around with this this arm. Waldos, what up, player? Shaco. 
What is what on earth is that monstrosity? It's a corn lord of skulls. So I think I'll work on this. This is my skull hurler arm, so it's just blocked in right now. And I think I'd like to get that skull and this manifold here kind of workshops. So that that's interesting to me. I think we'll go to that next. Shaco Terra. Thanks, man. Waldos, we're just doing what we do, brother. Let's lock into the obesity cradle. And get cinched. <laughs> So, if you're just tuning in for the first time, the Discord server where people can show off their whips and their work throughout the week. Exclamation point whip, Dr. D just gifted a sub to Shaco. Gonna get some hype in the chat for my man. Thank you so much, brother. I've been blown up in text. Whew. And also, promotions. Shaco just hit that follow button. Thanks, brother. If you're just tuning in for the first time, possibly Shaco. We run a big rewards contest here. Uh, you get uh, points just for watching. Yo, dogs. Uh, if you... Tune in earlier in the month to get more for free, but you always get them for money. Incentivize broadcasts. Give away a lot of shit in the mail. Shout out to these sponsors you see here. We're going to be working with Game Envy really soon. I'm excited for that. If you're curious about the paints we're using, exclamation point monument. Exclamation point info. Let me queue up Discord real quick. Okay, we got a few things in here. looking beautiful brother loving the dark blue armor and the white armor mix love the uh blue shadows the red highlights feeling that bro my oh, man's looking good getting close getting close to done skulls and skin and highlights left he says So fucking tight. Showy says, pretty much just following your tutorial. I did do that, didn't I?
Yours looks sick. So you're following my tutorial? Blue armor, white armor. Okay, so I did a lot of blue. And you're doing the brat, the bronze, in some of these other places. Oh no, I haven't. You, you haven't put the top armor. On. Are you doing the top armor white and the chest white too? I did like the blue trim though. It looks like you, you're cutting in that brass. So you took some. Took some different creative choices. My last few videos are not in the playlist. Like they're broken or like I never filmed them. Like specifically what's missing. They they are filmed but not in the playlist. What? Maybe I never downloaded them. It says I have eleven videos. On, on Twitch. So I fill. So I have eleven highlights on Twitch. Can you share me? Can you Patreon DM me the links that you feel are missing so I can fix that? So you're saying there's like a twelve? There's a twelve video. You found it in past broadcasts? Fuck. I don't even know how to search that. Is it like from the channel? I can't look at pop. I can't look while I'm live, can I? That's, I think that's what it is. Can't go to past broadcasts. If you can find the link to that 12th video, Shui, you'd be doing me a service, so I can cut it and put it in the in the installments. Great job, brother. So I can edit it, you know. Exclamation point patrons. Shui's talking about my reference guide on Twitch. Yeah, on Patreon. He's saying his post is missing was missing one. So I'm gonna get that fixed up. I think you're you're probably the only one who went all the way through it though. So that's why I'm just hearing this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
There's a 13th? Oh my fucking god. Show eight. Yeah, just send me a fucking Patreon DM with those. I'm embarrassed. Crack one. Good job right here. Is this, uh, bro? Shoey, thanks. Oh, you're not on Patreon? You're just using the, uh, your Patreon. You're just using your, uh, Twitch subscription to see the playlist. Wells on YouTube. What's up, brother? Sunshine Grenadier throwing some squatches down. Yeah, <laughs> crack one. It looks beautiful, man. Let's go. I love it. Disco, the famous disco chop. Here's a new one, little pirate homie. Look at this guy. Oh wait, I skipped Mateo. Sorry, Mateo. I had you queued up and then I skipped you. Let's go back to Mateo real quick. Tech Marine action. Let's see. A little, air, a little airbrushing it looks like, or was that a primer? You got a cat. I see the cat hair right there. So I'm trying to figure out what you did here. Did you like spray the white over the red? Like crudely? With your airbrush? I might need to discuss an order of operations here. Mateo, no, this is great, man. Airbrushed. Lol. Please do. So you airbrushed it red, then you shot some white in on his chest and his face? Would you airbrush? And like his pistol holster, it looks like. What was your reasoning? I'd like to know your reasoning before I criticize. That down some gray before the white. Then, I mean, do you want, like, a white ammo pouch? Is that the end goal? Like, what's the deal there? Is that the goal? So 
So why did you paint it like gray than white? Were you gonna do like contrast paint over it or something? Mateo, just paint it brown, dog. Like, just grab like a dark brown and a tan brown and just paint that bitch up. Like, make it the dark brown, let it dry, and then just kind of block in some sketchy highlights. Like, if you think about how you use like gray than white, find like a find like a brown that you like, and then a brighter brown. Paint it all that shit brown. Then mix the two together and kind of block in some highlights. Then go with the bright brown exclusively and just do some tight little edges. Good to go. Way easier. Now, shooting the white in the face, that's ambitious. Uh, if you're going for a skull mask, you, I mean, you're gonna, it really comes down to this. Like, you use your airbrush to do the stuff you don't want to paintbrush, but then you got to paintbrush to rest. So, rather than reset a bunch of real estate for contrast paint, just paint it. Dark to bright. Easy. And with the skull mask, would have probably been easier to just do a subtractive method. If you painted it with your gray, then mix the gray with the white and then block in some highlights, like just layering, GW style. Then add more white, do smaller layers, and then go pure white and do the final layers. So it's like a subtractive cell shade. That's typically how GW instructs people to paint by hand, and that works most of the time. Uh, and you can tip, and you can smooth out any tide lines or any borders in your cell shading mechanic, your layering, with blazing technique. But it looks like you haven't learned that yet. But stick with me. I'll show you how to do it. Yeah, Mattel. Yeah, you just want to build up to the white, subtract, you know, while subtracting in, in size, and that will create that volume for you. Like I wouldn't have sprayed his face white. I just would have painted it white. But some, but if, but if you want to do a, 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 if you want to reset the real estate, uh, a lot of times I'll reset the real estate with something like dark neutral gray, like all the pipes, the face, all the electronics. I'll just cut the red out with that, and then I'll work off of the dark neutral gray, you know, on the skull to the white, leaving everything dark neutral gray, and just kind of do some quick little details there. So you see, you'll see me do that a lot here. But if you, you know, contrast paint or the speed paint in general, um, it sucks. It's not good. Disco. Planet Monk. Who are you on Twitch? Just got a Tarzan here. It's a fun change of pace. Looks like a large scale figurine style paint job. Like you would see it like at a Comic Con. I love it. Like very opaque paint. Subtle, sh you know, su subtle uh, shade. Very nice. Wells. Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's like a large scale figurine. Like, it's, a, it's about smoother, more opaque, less contrast, more subtle. The bigger it is, the better. The better that works. Looks great.
Well, that's how you felt. That's how that was felt. That was how felt what it is. Any more whips? We're at the end of the uploads from today during the show. Exclamation point whip. Exclamation point jersey. Running one of our top jersey promos. We're the winner of today. The top D today will get a custom jersey. We'll sit down and zoom and design it out with my graphic asset library that I generated. Custom custom colors. Hockey jersey, basketball jersey, and even a, are available on all over. Simultaneously, ever since we moved to Florida, we have a Florida Man Friday promo. Uh, the top 4D on every Friday. Uh, are entered into a special Florida Man prize drawing at the end of the month, which is tomorrow. And the winner of that wins a special gift bag from me, not from my sponsors, with Florida themed merchandise curated from my local Circle K. Crack one. Sorry, putting the baby down while you were looking at my cast line. Thank you for the comments. The camera hides a lot of the faults. You got the you got this good set. Yeah. I'm with it, dude. I'm also zoomed in, right? So how many faults are really hide? It's also Beast Mode Friday. You get extra yo dogs today. Playing the Yo Dog mini game to redeem for swag. I've shipped about 50 packages since I've been back from Adepticon already. We're going hard. Let's take a look at Discord. Any more ups, uh, uploads now? We're good. All right. That's it for the Adeptic. Uh, that's it for the whip session. Oh man, my body hurts, guys. Ugh. Crack says I'm pumped for the AOS news. I played the shit out of Second Edition. You just made me go out and buy some corn demons so I can still use them at 40k. Hype train. Wait, smart. Mateo says your body hurts too, bro. You feel me? I'm 40. Uh, basically a corpse. Oh, it's Joe MN. Hold on a second. Throwing a whip up. Coming in hot. Saw Joe at Adepticon. Put me on your did you put me on your resume yet as a referral? As a reference? That's right, Joe coming in and whipping it out. What's the question? Comments on edges between areas? Edges between areas? Is this like the new Modifius set? No, this is great. This is good, Joe. 
I wouldn't fuck with it too much more. These models aren't really built for crazy edge highlighting. Like this, this is this is in the wheelhouse of these miniatures design. You pick these up at Adepticon, Joe. Joe says, I appreciate your two cents. What today top four? Uh, what's today's promo? Uh, Top D gets the jersey promo, X Commission Point jersey, custom jersey design. Sit down with me. It's a Florida Man Friday, so everybody who's in the Final Four today is in my Florida Man prize drawing tomorrow. And it's Beast Mode Friday. You get bonus Yo Dogs for playing the mini game. Exclamation Point 666, Exclamation Point Jersey, Exclamation Point FMF. Russian, what's up, brother? Yo, Kelsky, what's up, man? 44 months back to back. Russian, you got the last doubles dice? Congrats, brother. Did you hear the podcast? You weren't there live? Did you follow my instructions carefully on the podcast? Oh, you were there live? Oh, so they sold out before the podcast went out. <laughs> Demi, what's up, brother? Just chilling. All right. Good job, Joe. This is this is solid. I love Fallout IP. Yes, the fallout characters, big uncle. So slock him the obesity cradle. Ugh. What we started on today was this axe for the Lord of Skulls. We did this on the webinar. And then we brought all this like all these cool streaks and shit into it. You can say this is mostly like airbrushing, cheating and shit, and then a little bit of paint brush love. Wow. So I don't feel like doing the back of it right now because it's now it's now that's now it's annoying. Joe says, love you, baby. That's almost 3x. Give my man 69 bonus, yo dogs. Please love minis, Joe MN. Can I get some strong man love in chat for that legend? Thank you so much, homie. BIG, 20 months. Let's keep in artistic. Let's keep it artistic AF. That's right, baby. Yo, crack one 420 on the spot on Longwood Doubles Hobby Squad. Love you. All are bringing the hobby back in the game. Talking on the podcast. My dream is to get up there one of these years and show up with a 750 hobby score. I need a partner. Same dream. Well, that's the fun part. You don't need a partner with the same dream. You could just do it all yourself and then pull your friend along for the, the ride. Be like, yo, you coming, bitch. That's why it's double spin. You just make some you just make some hobo show up. Sup 
So this is what I want to work on. This the skull hurler. So I just kind of sketched out like kind of a skull with some white in the background around the trim. So let's get some black. Maybe a little transparent blue. Recoil. Rob in on the ball with those dice, dude. He already posted them and got fifteen and got and I got fifteen dollars back because posters was cheaper than quoted. Oh Rob 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 fucks, dude. Keep forgetting I have a paint rack. Crack one. So I, yes, exactly. You paid a thousand points to demons, thousand points to world leaders, and you get a conscript. I mean, all you're doing is painting a 2,000 point army, right? You're just painting your own 2,000 point army. Just rinsing this brush. Because I had some, some, some soap on it. So I put some blue and black down. So first things first, I'm gonna take some of this black, some of this white, maybe it's a little blue. Let's just. Just paint it off. I was trying to be cute. I was trying to be cute and like leave some of this black. But I don't think that's working. Let's just get let's just get it all in our pseudo metal color. Let's get it done. This thing is kind of obnoxious, you know? Like, all these, like, stars jetting out of it. It's kind of preposterous. Watch my life pass me by Never knowing where I belong In a web of love and lies As you string me along I can't breathe, I can't Just a lot of heart pulls right there. I'm mostly raw dogging this. Pretty much just paint from the palette to the model. No thinning whatsoever. How am I going to cut corners on this? This star pattern is, is out of control.
All right. So we also want to get this. Like this undercarriage. You see how it's like armor is on top of it. Lillian, thank you for the follow. Cray, is this dark neutral gray? No, this is black plus white with a little touch of blue. Black, white, touch of blue. More black. a little bluer than I want, a little bit more black. And I'm just, again, I'm just pretty much raw dogging this. Monument Hobbies coming in for that raid. guys up to is everyone back in the arizona beats lab right now t schmitty what's up homie shoey says you just say you whisper thank you man crushing how far along are you in the skulls we're, we're getting there man I'll show you in a second now that everyone's in here I'm using this number six right now. I'm just raw dogging some blued gray over some of this black. We've got the entire body done crushing we've got the head is blocked in We worked on the on this. The arms are blocked in. We started working on the axe today, and now and I'm taking a break from the axe to work on the 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 gun arm, the skull hurler right here. So that's and then the shoulder pads are the last thing, and they're blue. Welcome to the chat. Everybody coming from Monument Hobbies, exclamation point, Jersey. Solway Studios coming in for that raid. What's up, guys? We're, we're catching the double raid. Let's get some straight, straight love. Solway Studios and Monument Hobbies. Assault says... You don't like that model, but this paint job's looking sweet. Who's that? Yeah. That's right, man. We're getting the the, the DP raid. We're just painting. Uh, right now, we're just blocking in the arm. One, one of the arms on our uh, Lord of Skulls. And we're using just like black, white with some blue mixed in to kind of just shove it in over the, the black. And the black is just... I just... I blocked the black in... Just like solid black for the trim and everything. Uh, and we're now we're kind of subtracting from it 
That's kind of our chosen pseudo metal color for the project. And I'm being a little, little sloppy. B.I.G. What's up, brother? Ever? Hey, you ever want to make your own pro acrylic signature series? I, I mean, I was the first guy Jason ever asked. Man. It's just that every time I say something, it's like I already have that color. I'm like, okay, never mind. All the colors are fine. And I don't think I'd make a lot of money anyway. Like, it's not like, you know, like making some version of the paints that I already think are perfect to have it to sell. I don't, it just doesn't appeal to me that much right now. I love, I love the paints right now. The paints are great. I don't, I don't think it's missing anything. Kalis, uh, Kalisma, Emperor's Children Chaos. Is that what you're painting, or have I got it really wrong? I mean, that's that's a good guess. Big, you know me, Doug. You know me. It's a good guess, Kalisma. This color. So right now I'm just kind of subtracting. Let's get this hose. I don't really care about this stuff right now. Missed some chat. Hold on, guys. It moved kind of quick there. Question. Just ask home about Kenny Color Theory. Versace. Jason said that he was in talk with Miniac. They have most of the angles covered. You actually see they may run our they might run out of runway for new releases soon that makes sense now, like someone like miniac makes way more sense because like he's famous zaffer says you've been a fan of pro curl for a while yeah the best that's right question says all colors are the same kenny quote that's my that's that's how I feel. I feel like they're all the same color. I feel like all paints are the same color. B.I.G. He knows. So, who was the one who was asking what this is? Again, I will show. There's a corn Lord of Skulls. We've got the torso. Done. Uh, head is blocked in. Needs detail still. Uh, shoulders are just primed right now. They're going to be blue. Uh, arms are just blocked in. We started working on the axe today. So axe arm. Gun, the gun the gun arm right here so we're, we're in the home stretch this is a giant model bigger than a knight way more complex way more challenging to paint than a knight i love this model well I've, I've been wanting to paint one for years so i wanted to take a break from the axe 
and work on this skull hurler. So I just blocked in some of this stuff with like a dark gray color because I want to get this skull to look sick before I work too far because that it's really interesting to me to get that look sick. So we've got this like black, white, blue mix right here. We've got the noosh right here. This is the new monument, Hobby's Tech. So th what I'm doing is lowering the opacity, adding some white. And the noosh like extends the work time, like a streaking grime. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna run a heart pool. Like this. Okay, then I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the darker puddle. Right here, I'm gonna grab some black. Some noosh and some black. Run a heart pull right here. And what I, I'm gonna go back a step. A little brighter. You know, creating like a cylinder highlight. I'm missing some chat. You don't have it, Kalisma. It's a sick model. T Schmitty. What's up, brother? Crushin says you've proven your color theory at least four things. On at least four things you have painted in the years of watching. Remember the badass orc guy for last October? You started pink and turned to green? Yep. Zaffy, does newish actually work like oil base, like oil wash? It's like streaking grime when you think about like how you you're using it to reactivate and and pool. Yes, it's really good. S. J. Connors PA paints, kind of hard to get over here in the UK. Pearl Krill, they're easier now. By far the best I've ever used. B. I. G. says. How long does do you let Mr. Weather and Multi Black dry before you use the spirits? I mean, I kind of go instantly sometimes. Sometimes I don't. Recoil. And it was gifted to you by the same devilishly handsome, mysterious supporter. With what a great supporter! That's right. Recoil actually gave me this Lord of Skulls. So I'm going to downgrade my paintbrush. Back to this brighter puddle. A little bit more white. And there's tons of new shit. So what that lets me do is it lets me drop this line and kind of reshape it in real time. And if there's anything I don't like, I can kind of get a little water. So I don't use it like it's an oil wash. I use it, I've already used it on the, like today, a couple different ways. And I'm using it to make sure my lines look, look crisp with that heart pull. So now I'm gonna cinch in with some basically some black and noosh. Right here. I'm gonna go back in time, kind of split the difference. Right here. Get 
Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move off of the black right here and I'm, I'm going to get it much brighter right here. I'm going to go, I'm going to move it to right here. You see, I want that to be bright. You can get a little white in there using the heart pull Hello. and I'll go back a step. I'm going to kind of reactivate right here and kind of sort that little line out. A little more white. Right there. Again, I'm going to move down here. Let's get the, let's get the brighter mix. more white grab a little bit more noosh Hello. work my way back up to the dark spot kind of eyeball some darker mid-tone for my palette you gotta just blur that out. So you see what I'm doing is I'm doing like center bright, instantly dark to bright. And then now we're gonna plane shift. See now it hits bright right there. We're gonna switch back to black. Go back to this mid-tone. Oh, grab this highlight. And we're going to put the highlight maybe like right here. Go back to the mid-tone. Just heart pull. Like that. This side. Grab black, little noosh. So bright must be dark now. Let's grab some of the bright right about here. Back to the mid. Okay. And so now we want to make sure that these struts look good too. This is where all the action is, this top stuff. So probably all we need to do on the strut right here is probably we get some of the highlight. Just do like a quick bright dark bright. Hello. Nothing too crazy, nothing too wild. This is, there's a lot of action on this side based on the model's viewing angle. So we're gonna just heart pull some diagonals. Right there. Now we also need to get this section. So probably you want to do kind of you want to emulate what you've already done when it's when it's a cylinder. So let's run our highlight right here.
right there. We get a little moisture. But a lot of this I'm going to cheat. I'm not going to go too hard. You'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm thinking we can probably just jump into it now. So let's grab some high opacity, low moisture, white. Crushin says, you definitely need to share your playlist again. It's Master Cat. I can't. We're going to run a tracer technique. Hold your breath, swing it from right to left. Always be rotating. Look for that uh, that ledge. Light brush pressure. I'm using the zero here. It's a little big, but the Lord of Skulls details are fucking huge, so it works. Just got to make sure you have a lighter touch. High opacity, low moisture. So we got that, that first line down. Now sometimes with the bold titanium white, it's been on my palette now open for a couple hours. So I'm gonna make a new puddle that's fresh out of the pot. It's good, that's gonna be a little easier to work with. Hello. You'll see up here. Let's try this real quick. Let's do the double edge highlight. Hold your breath, swing it from right to left. I'll pass a little moisture. Now what I'd like to do, I'll take a little noosh. I'd like to get a heart pull. That kind of uh, fans out right there to like a vanishing point, you see? there right there hello now let's get let's go back to these little struts these are super important tracer Excuse me, guys. Ooh. Always be rotating. <laughs> Damn. Got something. I've, I've had kind of a dry throat since I came back from Chicago.
We're just gonna touch these ledges with a with the tracer technique. You see <laughs> how important those struts actually are to the overall look, you see? <coughs> oh my god. I'm dying. Sunshine, thank you. All right. So, let me rinse the brush. It's getting a little dry. Okay, let's try to get right here. Gotta find the angle. That's tricky. So let's uh let's go back a little bit to the gray side of things. Not necessarily pure white. You run like a bit of a tracer. I mean, a bit of a heart pull right here. I'm gonna lower the opacity slightly with some water. I'm just gonna knock that down a little. Okay, let's hit these little guys right here. These are these are tricky. I want to get the bottom ledge too. There's a little spot right here I want to get. So I'm gonna give this man a cough drop. You know, I fucking have them. Right here. Let me just take them. So I'm gonna be one of those annoying people talking with a cough drop in them. Sorry. <laughs> Sunshine. Till that in the language. He's how Lee, the response to a sneeze is pull and translates to I'm sorry. I also learned that it is very rare in Korea that someone responds to a sneeze. You were looking up international responses to sneezes. Responding to a sneeze is kind of silly. What a utterly nonsensical tradition. And like the fact that it's considered rude to not do it, it to, to not acknowledge it in our culture is so silly to me.
Sunshine, you think you're going all in on the no response? I'm with it, dude. This, fuck yeah. Comes from the Black Pe Plague Times. Bless you because you're about to die. I like that one, Sunshine. Start a new response. What? What now? See if we can get this little ledge. I put the gray in it again, so it's not totally white. Knock that shit off. That's right, Red Kill. Do what now? Not allowed to die. So I think we can do some, like, ghetto dry brushing, too. I think we could take like some of the black, some of the white, some of the blue. Now we're going to do some cheating with our soft round dry brush. Grab a smaller brush, some, some white, little black. Much smaller. My man, Unhappy Dan. What's up, brother? And happy Dan, thanks man. Seems like you made it home safe too. I'm hitting these little arrows.
Flight was crazy bumpy. Landed sideways in Seattle, but yeah, all good. <laughs> oh my god. Great show and good to see you. Thanks, man. And also, glad you had fun. Crushing, must have not caught your sub. Did you get your sub? You, you, you can look up your sub your sub anniversary, I think. We've got 19 minutes left in today's Florida Man Friday promo. And it's an exclamation point jersey. It's a custom jersey. Whoever the top D is. Okay. Let's take some of this white. And I want to get a little whiter. these recesses a little bit more opaque his mouth too his eye sockets So we're gonna def. I'm gonna send uh, green into there. Is the goal? So it's like it's glowing from within. All everything that's white's gonna be glowing green. And this strip right here, to me, that looks like almost a piece of glass. Like that should be something, right? And look, we got a, we got to absolutely paint inside of here. Using a heart pull and some stipples. Mateo, I'm paying attention. He says. So those are going to be glowing. That's why I'm painting those white. What's not big enough? Oh, my command's not working. Oh, there it is. It shut up. My jerseys go up to 6X, by the way. The 
if that's what that was referenced to. Little white right here. Tip of the brush, stipple in and pull back. Heart pull. Semi opaque, a little wet. Rotate back, heart pull from the other direction. Oh, you just got your sub back today, crushing. Did my bot not acknowledge you? So we can use the tra We should be able to just get away with the fluorescent green. Thinking. So I'm gonna take the fluorescent green and just kind of jam it in there. Maybe a little noosh. With 13 minutes left in our Jersey Florida Man Friday. So I put a little noosh. with the fluorescent. And I'm still painting the inside. Everything that was white. Is green. We grab a little moisture. I subtract right here because I got a little too much green right there. And with the noosh, a little bit of water will help you remove it. Spread it out easily. Rinse. Put some in the eyes. Stipple it in. Right over the white. Two seconds. I'm going to take a little bit more of the green. To maybe get a try to I'll try to step up kind of like a perimeter. How's that look? I'm 
want to re-up the sidewall for the second pass. Recoil's mom has got it going on. I'm going to shove a little bit deeper in that. Can I get some strong man love for Recoil's mom? Thank you so much for your support. On this top jersey giveaway. And I'm just painting a little bit more green around the side of the skull. Recoil's mom. So you see, now we got some scary gun glow. Let's take some of that same fluorescent green. Put it in here. I think that looks pretty fucking good. And today is a Florida Man Friday. Tomorrow we'll draw the winners of the Florida Man Friday giveaway. So we got multiple things going on. Florida Man Friday, Beast Mode Friday, and Exclamation Point Jersey. Renegade, what's up, brother? Shout out to Recoil's mom. Will we get over time? Right out in a few minutes. That's right, Crush. I mean, I feel like that looks so good. And I, what I'm what I'm doing is I'm just also stacking. The sidewall with more green for more opacity. <laughs> as soon as I finish my fucking cough drop, I cough. I fucking just finished it and I'm coughing. <laughs> what the fuck? How many cough drops are you allowed to eat? Candid okay, painting. 3x. 69. Bonus Yodox. Jumping in on the final four. My guy. Question. Read the bag. <coughs> it says... Dissolve one in your mouth. Repeat every two hours. Bro, I'm going back to back. Welcome. Yeah, I fucking love this thing, man. Look at that. 
Se Sekio, thanks for the follow. Ray Price says that looks really good. Thanks, man. <laughs> eat, 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 eat enough till you puke, Wells. I'm on it. So let's move back here. Let's get a little bit more. And we're going to just kind of... Force it to the bottom. Sunshine Grenadier. 69. 66-69. Nice. That's my man. Uh, 230 bonus Yodogs from my boy Sunshine Grenadier. Sunshine, thank you so much. Look what I'm doing. I'm stippling a little bit more opacity down here. Kind of just dragging it down. Same thing right here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some of the white. And just kind of touch the top. Maybe use a little of the green and the white mixed together slightly. Do a little edge highlight. Sunshine Grenadier, you fucking legend. I mean, that's pretty good though right that's like pretty cheat level like we che i mean we cheated a lot right there's a fucking hack ass dry brushing some fucking basically just painted some lines straight to us dump some fucking green into these white recesses and all i did was just kind of mash some skull color together like i painted it white and then i just kind of grabbed a little brown and kind of just pushed it in there to me speak but just do what you want what was will you keep the ones that cause us harm you assume the world yeah it's funny how good that came out with just one like application of the green and all the little weird bits i'm just trying to work the sidewall to kind of clean up some loose ends that's really all i care about right I think it, I don't really want to mess with it more. I think it looks great. I just want that inner sidewalls green to be looking clean. But I like how the one coat of fluorescence over the white, kind of like with, with, you know, like bad coverage, a little noosh. So like the spotty coverage, creating that like white, like creating, leaving the white behind. I think it looks really look, looks really good. Oh shit! Hey man. Thanks, dog. Hey man. Thanks, dog. Red coach just dropped a C note. Says, "You do not need a signature series to be a boss." Just be a fucking boost or someone's egg. You do you. Bro. Red coat. Are you saying that? Are you asking me to be your Easter egg this Easter? Is this you is this it? Yeah, man. Of course. A thousand times yes. Redco, let me get some love in the chat for my boy Redco. Thank you so much for your support, my brother. Let me get some hype in chat. Dropping the C note. Redco, no, the honor is all mine, dude. Thank you. No one's asked me to be their Easter egg ever.
<laughs> oh my god, I think we have a little overtime on the clock because Red Coat is a legend. Thank you so much, brother. This is this is a special. Yeah. It's time to get swifty. Oh oh, we gotta get swifty. Oh yeah, take off your pants and your panties. Shit on the floor. Bro, I think this came out sick, guys. I'm just I'm blown away by it. Like actually, the noosh and the fucking fluorescent green over the white. I think it's like, it's almost like it's almost painted itself. Just pre, you know, when I did the pre highlighting, of course. You have to do the pre highlight. You have to put the fucking white in. Yeah, I'm not trying to oversell the simplicity of it. So they paint that white in there. But that looks a lot better than I thought it would. Just throwing it in there like that. I mean, that shit looks scary. It's understated. It's just enough. You know, it's still inside the pipes. We, we didn't just blast it with an airbrush and fuck up all this awesome trim work we did. That's the mistake so many people make with stuff like this. Marrow layeth the smackdown. Yo, we got Marrow layeth miniatures in the chat right now. That's that's rare. It's a rare sighting, brother. It's moments like these that make it all worth it, Redcoat says. Thanks, man. Request says, spooky, vision, engaged. Thanks, man. Question says, so the real question is, well, can he dress up as a bunny or an egg? I'm the egg, though. It looks like it rolls six, baby. That's right, man. So we actually, so I'm, I'm fun. I'm, I'm glad we did this because, like I said, like I got bored. Not bored. This was fun to paint. We did this in the top half. But anytime you do an axe this sick, because that's sick. And then you realize, remember you got to do the other side? You're like, yeah, fuck everything. I hate this model. So we stopped after the break and did the other arm and made that look really cool. So let me write some names down. Let me uh, move my palette around. Let's 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 show off where we are. Shout out to Redcoat. We'll 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 link up to do your jersey. See with all the green and everything, it's so sick. See, because we also we made sure to throw a little fluorescence in there too. So just a little fun bonus. So that's cool. Uh, Meryl says, keeping an eye. Will's playing the game of life. Busy as fuck. No worries, man. I feel you, dude. That's how it is, bro. I, li I live in Florida now, man. I live with my parents. I moved in with my parents. This arm is a problem because the axe leverage. Ah, <laughs> oh, like I said, I'm gonna I'm glue that arm. But here's the here's the the head blocked in right now. We still gotta do the details on that. We're close. Close. I'm gonna varnish some of this stuff tonight after dinner. Uh, he, the body's totally varnished. These arms are not. I need to get up. And then we gotta get these big ass shoulder pads. Red coat. Barrel. Recoil's mom. Recoil's mom. Are you going to bed? Get out of here. So we gotta get these big ass blue shoulders painted. So that's what's that's the connection. It'll be blue, the magenta, the blue shoulders on top. But this Lord of Skulls is the Edge Lord's, the Edge Lord of Skulls. So I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, we're almost done. I'm fucking beyond excited. God damn it, I fucked you. I'm beyond excited to actually get that thing on the table and get this Edge Lord's project actually finished. 
We've had so many distractions already in 2024. As soon as I finish the Edge Lords and it's out of my system, or as soon as I finish that Lord of Skulls and he's out of my system, then we're going to do some sponsored content. We're going to do Aramon, a Lord of Change, and a Juggernaut. A Lord, a Corn Lord and Juggernaut. Meryl says, my God, it's awesome. Thanks. Red Coast says, I moved in with my dad after me and my ex split. Best time I had as an adult. He was crazy. <laughs> Bro, I mean, I'm right there with you. Mentally, fucking such a good place. Now, I have spent eight months getting certain financial affairs in order because of reasons. But happily, while, while my mom makes me dinner every night. Recoil. Are you okay? Everything okay, guys? Is it late for you guys? Catch you tomorrow, brother. Oh, it's 11 in the morning? Oh. Australia. Redcoat. Redcoat, you can DM me. Uh, for the uh, session. If you if you if you're you're not one of my students right now, are you? Are you an active student? Sunshine. Recall other side of the world life, dude. It's like the next day. So hit me up on Discord, Redco, or Facebook, or Instagram, or Patreon. Don't whisper me. Fuck that shit. Uh, whispers for people sending me their addresses one time for me to put it in my logs. Uh, and I'll send you a link to my student doc. And you could just fill out a date and time to do a session with me to get your jersey up if you would like. Later, Recoil. Meryl just hit midnight here in Wales, bro. Fucking Wales. All right, we're going to set up some raids. Let's get everything queued up. We actually dropped right, off raids. Let's get on the... Uh, up. We actually dropped off. On, we're, not a, we're not even on Facebook. Right? So we're raiding Dr. Rhino. He's a Dr. Anna Rhino. I mean, he's called The Shot. Let's get set up. Uh, shout out to... Redcoat, Sunshine Grenadier, Recoil, Recoil's mom, Dub Sherman, and everyone else tonight. Thank you guys for kicking with me. Uh, we got, we do have an international audience here. I'm proud of it. Uh, we are going to be streaming tomorrow at our normal time. It is the month ender. I hope everyone has a great holiday weekend. Like Easter's all about the eggs. So we're raiding Dr. Rhino. The raid is ticking down. Load it up. Bring the length. Bring the girth. You better not be going off the air. Better put up my egg outfit, pics, and Discord crushing. I will. All right, guys. I'll see you on the flip side. Play on, players. Does this button not work anymore? Does my stream deck just not work? Right, peace out, guys. Giving Hollywood a piece of